Hello everyone. This is Meera Joshi Deshpande, and uh, we are here to celebrate the launch of uh, Krishna and to talk a little about the process of uh, making the album, the idea behind all the songs. Uh, we, I am extremely thankful to Live Demi for proposing this idea, and this is a great platform through which we can convey. Our ideas and thoughts behind uh, making the song and the album, and uh, I hope uh, that you all are enjoying the songs and you like the album, appreciate it, and uh, share it. So, um, Krishna is an album that uh, predominantly said Krishna. The name was by Pages Ranade, the lyricist of. One of the songs who will also be joining the session, so he is the one who proposed this name for the album because it rhymes with Krishna also, and uh, this is how it all started. So let's begin with the first song, that is uh, Krishna Antar Mantri, the song with which the album opens. And uh, to talk about this song, uh, I would like uh, to invite Carlos Cano is. Riva, Irnan Ninja, Apurva Kulkarni, and Amay Londi to uh, join this uh, small uh, this club. Hello. Hola. Hello. Hello. Hola. Uh, hello, Nihira. Hola, Irnan. Hola, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Irnan. Hi. And uh, uh, Amay also there, and hmm. Apurva also. Is she there? So I'm. Am I audible? Yeah. Hi. 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 Amai. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Hi, and you? How are you all? Good, good. Hello. So it's really nice to see all of you. Although we have never met all of us. I mean, I have never met Carlos and Irnan in person, and all all of you. I mean, you haven't met at all. And we still managed to make no. a song, mm -hmm. so that in itself is uh, commendable and nice. So welcome, Amay, Ernan, Carlos, and Apurva, all of you, to this session. Thank you. And Thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure having all of you on board. It was uh, really nice to collaborate with Carlos and Ernan, coming from a completely uh, different school of music. Apurva herself. Is a very good Indian classical vocalist for uh, everyone's knowledge, and she herself composes her own bandishes and her own songs. And Amay is one of uh, the best sound engineers that I have worked with. So this is the team of Krishna Antar Manki. Of course, Krishna Antar Manki also begins with a poem that is very beautifully written by Tejas Samade, who will come into the session later. And uh, it was recited by uh, Girija O Godbole, a very talented actor, and then starts the song. So let us begin with uh, Apurva. Uh, I think it uh, for Apurva it's a very uh, different experience because uh, she has never written lyrics for anybody else. I think this is for the first time that she wrote uh, lyrics for somebody else. And uh, and she is not a professional lyricist, and still she has done a commendable job. Experience about the song and the album. Hello, yeah. Thank you so much, Neera, for introducing me and uh, for making me a part of this team. Uh, when I started writing these songs. Uh, I had no idea that they would turn up to be like so beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Writing is like a hobby, and uh, yeah, I've written for someone for the first time. Usually, the thing is, I write my own uh, bandishes or my own poems, and I myself add the uh, I compose it, I add the tune to it. But uh, this time, 
it was i was working with her, her and it taught me so much like how to develop a song how to think how to go about it when you are writing so uh, it was a very uh, enrich enrichment for myself mm-hmm. and i have uh, learned so much through it ha huh. so i i think the problem was at my end but now you are smoothly audible can you please repeat it for me apurva i could not uh, get no, you at all yeah. yeah yeah sure sure i said that uh, like for the first time as you said i wrote lyrics for someone so it helped me develop ideas like how to go while writing mm-hmm. a song uh, basically you gave me the idea right we have to write something about rain and uh, we have to include the theme of radha and krishna in it so uh um, mm. i learned a lot from it uh and it enriched my experience so uh, thank you for uh, having me as a part of this team uh, also i would like to mention that uh, ernan and carlos have done a wonderful job of the music instruments in between it it focuses the mood so uh, beautifully uh, and the whole song is like just mesmerizing <laughs> and also amir amir dada has also like mixed it well and thank you for that uh, name uh, natya sangeet rap <laughs> that was genius <laughs> yeah it it helped the public connect to the origins like radha and krishna is not a popular theme nowadays uh, i am from the generation z like gen z and uh, we don't listen as much to uh, such songs where the theme is radha and krishna but it was it had a touch of western music too and uh, i think it brought together a lot of people from different countries from different cultures i think it's wonderful that we did this <laughs> so my experience i mean i want to speak a little about apurva that what i absolutely loved about apurva's contribution in this entire process was she herself is a musician she herself is a singer so i think her phonetic the way she has written the lyrics she already knew how to facilitate the job for when a singer delivers the song because she uh, she composes her own bandishes a bandish is a uh, song in an indian classical rap so you know i think she made the lyrics very very easy very very singable and very improvisable you could expand you could sing a lot with those lyrics and that was really nice and my favorite part lyrically what she has written is the natya sangeet rap the mridang nad garjat ghan me bijli tan se thirkat ban me i think the comparisons between the storm and everything those were phenomenal apurva thank you uh when you told me that it was going to be about rain i had no idea that we were including these pieces uh which were played by carlos and ernan and mm-hmm. i had no idea like we were going to do a transition like from from happy to sad and then again on a lighter note So that was just even amazing. I had no idea. Yeah, actually, no one had. Even I had no idea. Surprise! Yeah, it is. It is a surprise element. <laughs> it was a surprise for me also, to be honest. When it was Carlos's idea to do that entire this, transition yeah, to, <laughs> <laughs> and he was really scared. While you know, when he sent me the track, there is this one part. Just see if you like it. <laughs> I, I and. but but it was brilliant how it the song progresses on a lighter note it goes a much heavier section and comes back into a very pleasant downpour so uh, let let us ask carlos and hernan about uh, their experience of uh, working on an indian song on an indian melody hola sorry my, hola my english is very little uh, yo prefiero hablar en no español problem. y okay. y Nigira me hace el favor de traducirme bueno eh, sí, sí, la, sí, eso... la 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 canción en cualquier caso eh, cuando tú me mandaste la canción Nigira la canción uh-huh. claramente tenía tres partes y sí. 
Y estas tres partes eh, creo que era necesario eh, establecerla con una, con una secuencia musical y que tuviera mm. una especie de hilo conductor. Por eso quizás eh, el hecho de la, de, de la tormenta, de la lluvia, eh, mm. que, que parece como una, una especie de transición, eh, a mm. mí me pareció una buena idea, ¿no? para conectar uh -huh. todas las partes. Y por Perfecto. otro lado, por otro lado la, la idea que tú me transmitiste en cuanto a la llegada del monzón, en cuanto a la llegada de uh -huh. las lluvias a, a la India, que es muy parecida, en cierto modo, a la llegada de las lluvias en Cuba, a mí me, uh -huh. me conectó okay. también con mi, mi propia experiencia y me pareció que, que tenía que estar en la canción. Okay, ahora I will translate it. The first part that Carlos said was uh, that I originally communicated an idea of three phases of rain or storm yes. because he thought it would that that instrumental transition that does not involve vocals and something that is instrumental and that would sound very interesting. And uh, secondly, what he said was that uh, when I described the kind of rainfall that we have in India, it took him experiences of rainfall in Cuba. The Cuban rainfall is pretty much similar to the Indian rainfall. So he could relate to all of it. Mm -hmm. And that's how he came up with this idea of the first part being, you know, the wait for the rain when it's just very ambient and it's about to rain. The second part is when it just starts drizzling slowly. The third part is the storm, when it becomes very unexpected. And the last part is the downpour. So this is how he came up with the idea. Someone has posted okay. a question over here. OK, can you read it out? How this idea came into your mind? I think, but we just explained it. Yes, we just explained the idea. I think. The uh, idea of rain came, you know, when I first uh, wrote the melody of Ori that Kari uh, Badariya Saman ki, so the melody came to me with the lyrics only. So that's mm. how, in fact, I told Apurva that we have to create the picture of Radha waiting for Krishna's music with the rain as the backdrop. So, in fact, uh, Yes, so this is how the idea came. And uh, let's move on to um, Carlos and Hernan and you know, ask them about what made them choose the instruments that they have chosen for the song. The flute, the piano, and different African percussions that uh, Carlos has played towards the end of the song, the string, everything. I, w I will start uh, commenting uh, just uh, as, as a way to conclude the, the rain part and also introducing the, the new question that uh, I remember when, a year ago, was it, uh, when Carlos was uh, writing the arrangement. I think we lost Nihira again, but well, mm. I, can, I can continue. Mm. And I was uh, curious because he was sending me pictures uh, when he was doing some tests uh, at home. Uh, with some mics and the, and he started to to take out of all of these instruments like uh, these african percussions and all these these toys that we, we are always uh, crazy with these world instruments when whenever we have a trip or, or or a tour somewhere we are always getting into the music shops and asking the the people okay so show us the instruments you have here so uh, I was uh, very curious to see what Carlos was actually having in mind because I didn't know yet about the, the content of the song. I just saw him playing with all these toys and I was wondering what was that, that about? <laughs> so when he first showed me the, um, the main uh, draft of the, of, the, of the storm, I was really, really pleased and, and surprised in a nice way. And, and, really willing to to uh, to try to add something to that so it was very very nice to 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 accompany uh, in this process actually 
And uh, well, then she was telling me uh, about the piano part, and um, uh, he was having also in mind to to add a little more more ambient and, and drama with the with the keyboards, the strings. So we were we spent uh, quite a lot of time searching for the, the sounds we liked, trying different um, resources. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about the strings, of course, the piano was clear. Uh, and uh, he, then he, he showed me the, the lead sheet with all these, these chords and we were trying. He already had work previously, although he's a flutist, but he, he's, he's also uh, playing piano. So he was when he asked me to, to play the piano part, he already had uh, some ideas. So I, it was easy to, to develop because, because I think the arrangement was written in a, in a very um, narr narrative uh, way. So it, it was really following the text, following the, the singing. And, of, and uh, as Nehira was telling now, that it's clear that, uh, that uh, when, when, when the poet or, or the, the lyricist knows about music, then the words are already sounding like music. So it, everything becomes more natural. Uh, I think it's different when, when somebody is a good writer and writes something to be sung, uh, it, it can work. But when this person already knows uh, about music and he is musician itself, himself or herself in this case, I think it's, it's, it fits better, no? And exactly, I felt that way with the arrangement. It was very easy to jump in and, and flow with this uh, river with the, with the piano part. It was actually a very, very nice experience. Yeah. Una, 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 una cosa que uh, antes ha, has hablado de las cuerdas, ¿no? De string. Eh, string. Yo, mm -hmm. no, no, en ningún momento hablamos, mi gira, de poner unas cuerdas. Pero me hizo mucha gracia que al final cuando te decía ah. la mezcla, para mi gusto están un poco la, altas las ah, cuerdas. Un momento, ah, un momento, Carlos, lo siento sí. mucho, es que a Hernán tampoco podía oír, no, no he ah. podido oír lo que ha dicho, y a ti no sé qué. Ok. I'm, I'm extremely sorry, Carlos and Hernan, they have Christmas celebrations with their family and I think uh, I'm Don't really worry. taking too long. <laughs> so we will relieve them. Uh, let's go to Amai now because uh, for Amai also it was a very difficult job, not exactly difficult, but it was a challenging job to, you know, lead this song, sort of mix sessions, different parts of the world and how, how how much did you enjoy it i loved working on it i like first of all that storm uh, section was a big surprise and but the the brief that uh, neera gave was very clear to, to, about the four stages of the rain so i just had to um you know make sure that somehow the, those four stages of rain are audible in the vocal treatment so i played with the uh, reverbs basically it's made uh, you know i've uh, treated vocals uh, with different types of reverbs for the different sections and made them like you kept them dry when it was when the uh, song started <clears throat> and then a little bit as the flute was introduced and then the storm section had Lots of reverb and delays also to make it busy. And then again, dryish towards the end. And the rain is gone. So it was fun. And I loved the arrangement. And the flute is fantastic. Thank you. Am I yourself? Is I used to play flute. Yeah, I don't play anymore. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say that uh, I especially like the the reverb work that you have. Still, done, I mean, really, 
it, it's it's really really nice and and especially like uh, one of the very uh, final effects you are doing with the reverbs that uh, mm -hmm. I think that the flute does kind of an ornament like right? mm -hmm. and then Nihira's voice is doing that and the effect that is following oh. that is doing the same so the it's like uh, you know like a snake in the air doing some kind <laughs> of uh, magical uh, movement it's it's really I was so surprised when I hear that it's like, wow this, this guy would really is amazing <laughs> thank you <laughs> Yeah, somebody is asking if if Carlos and, and me were uh, oriented to the, to Radha Krishna. The most brutal. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, so yes, began working on the project. I told us about who is he knew about Lord Krishna, but Radha was in for him, and their relationship. So, yes, I we I. We had to bring Carlos and Hernan a little about uh, their relationship, of course, and Vrindavan. So, so, how it became a story, a song, because I remember Hernan saying uh, in one of the videos that we are ready to tell the story of Radha. So, this entire album, I would say, is more a story where each song is a chapter rather than just a song. We are telling her story. Mm -hmm. So, yes, these discussions did happen and important for everybody to be on the same page. Yeah. Wonderful. So, I am extremely happy and firstly apologetic about pictures that happened in the beginning. I could barely hear anything or anybody. And I'm uh, so not happy about it because I wanted to listen to what everyone had to say. But these last five minutes were really good. And uh, I'm definitely going to go back to the session on YouTube later and catch what Hernan Carlos said, Apurva said in the beginning. And uh, I remember specifically Amai made me sing this fast part, Nidang Nad Garajat Ghaname. He called it Natya Sangeet Rap. I shim of the same and I sent him the tape. And he uh, wrote back to me saying, no, something more. After the second session also, he said, no, you are sounding angry. <laughs> then, then he's like, you have to tone it down. And then in the third session, I think finally I gave takes that sort of satisfied him no i so told her that dude, I, I told her that dude, you're, you're sounding like you're mad at me angry at me for <laughs> making us sing it so many times <laughs> so yes but the natya sangeet rap part was uh, interesting and a lot of singers actually heard to sing that, that in the challenge and uh, they attempted the and they improvised and sang uh, that in their own way, which was very the song I and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Call a video again. <laughs> You're hugging, breaking. <laughs> yeah. I think I just ask you. A... <laughs> But I, I really want to thank Amir Dada because uh, he, I think, came up with this idea of that fast part in between. And uh, I mean, it was fun to write. And I think it was like a huge team effort. This couldn't be done without uh, any of you. So thanks for coining this term, Natya Sangeet Rap. <laughs> Yes, yes. I just asked them what you told them about Radha and Krishna. Hablo yo. Dale, dale. Ah, eh, pues, pues básicamente, bueno, del, del Dios Krishna sabemos algunos. O sea, en Occidente se conoce cada vez más eh, la cultura hindú. 
eh, pero de Radda no, Radda, Radda, no, no conocía apenas nada. Eh, fue interesante eh, hacer una conexión en cuanto a nuestra manera de pensamiento musical, sobre todo las escalas, como las están concebidas en, en Occidente, y el contraste como está pensado eh, pues en, en, en la India, ¿no? las escalas. Y, y bueno, eso fue eh, muy interesante. Y bueno, lo que, lo que ya alguna, eh, alguna vez hemos dicho, ¿no? aunque la música esté construida de manera diferente, al fin y al cabo estamos hablando en toda la música, en todas partes del mundo estamos hablando de emociones, ¿no? de vivencias. Y eso creo que es lo que se puede une entre cualquier civilización, entre cualquier cultura. ¿Me traduces Let tú, me... porfa? Sí, ah, sí no, no sigas que si no se me olvida. Sí, yeah, I, was, I was trying to, to remember everything he's telling me because I'm not used to be a translator, so I have to be. So he, he was telling that, uh, that, that uh, I, there is more and more um, people getting to know about Krishna in, in, the, in our culture too, and uh, many people becoming more interested in, in, in how Indian music is built. So he was trying to um, kind of find the, the, the connections between the way we build uh, the musical scales here and the way uh, raga uh, works uh, mm -hmm. but at the end um, like we have to think that the common point of, of being a musician is uh, to, to to seek how to express uh, emotions mm -hmm. um, so this is uh, this is beyond th these limits of of the of the local techniques or even languages right mm -hmm. so uh, when, when you hear the the music that uh, nihira is singing Uh, I think the most important thing is that you can feel and, and, and fall, f f uh, f uh, follow the, the, the river she's created. Mm -hmm. And that was our, like the, the choice. No, not, not becoming too theoretical. Uh, this is my personal mm -hmm. addition now <laughs> to what Carlos said. But not becoming too theoretical, but become more, more sensitive and more open to, to what the music is selling already. Mm -hmm. right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. That is so beautiful. Well, I think this is the nice way of, also of, of being a musician, right? To, to get to know different ways to, to say things, different accents, mm -hmm. colors and uh, techniques also, no? but yeah, with yeah. the same uh, aim in common, right? In cualquier caso, también es interesante que Nihira quería que esta canción también sonara diferente. O sea, entonces tampoco nos podíamos adentrar demasiado en el mundo hindú. O sea, lo teníamos que mirar desde nuestra perspectiva y desde nuestra vivencia, ¿no? Hi, I'm back and uh, I'm back on my laptop. So I guess this mm. will work. Loud and clear now. Yes. So I'm sorry I missed everything. <laughs> but, uh, no, but but uh, Ernan explained us whatever yeah. Carlos said very well. <laughs> Don't worry. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so um, thank you so much, and uh, once again have a merry Christmas to like uh, Carlos Ernan. Of course, Apurva and Amay will stay on thank for uh, the rest of the session also because they uh, will be there for other songs too. But, uh, you know, we can let Carlos and Hernan go now for their Christmas celebrations with their family. And uh, I once again apologize for all the technical glitches. I don't know what went wrong. But I am <laughs> on that note, I'm extremely, extremely thankful to all of you for coming here, for being there for the session and sharing your thoughts and experiences about the song. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. It was Thanks a, a pleasure to, to share this, this little time thank here. You. And of course, a pleasure to work with all these, these great uh, yes. teams. Hope thank to you. see thank you, you someday. Yes. Hope, I hope so. Yeah, same here, same here. I'll catch you now on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ciao. Thank you. Okay. Bye. 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 Merry Bye. Christmas. Bye. Bye. So uh, now. Now it's the time to uh, move on to the next song.
it's called trishna spandan ki the second song this uh, for this song we would like to invite uh, shashi sharma the lyricist of the song and at the same time dipesh sharma batalvi tere piya piya so Hello everyone. Hello Shashi. Hello. Hi Dipesh. Hello. Hi Dipesh. Hello Shashi. How are you? Hi, I'm here. How? Hello, hello Shashi. Hello. Hello. My and uh, Dipesh, they know each other. We have met once or twice, but yeah. Yeah. No, of course, yeah. It's... I I hope Amaya has heard good stuff about me. Of course, of I course. I have heard not. only good stuff about Amaya. <laughs> But there's not a single person who speaks anything negative about me. Everyone praises, everyone loves to work. And I wish we had met more, because uh, and this is how we finally we ended up working together. You know that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I am just meeting you. first time. Right. You can right. drop. You can drop G. <laughs> yeah, G <laughs> okay. Surely. <yeah. laughs> Surely. So to no, all the viewers. This is the entire team of uh, Trishna Spandan ki. Shashi ji is uh, the lyricist behind the song. Amay has recorded uh, the vocals, and he is the one who actually introduced me to Mayuk Sarkar, who has done the production of the song and uh, everything. And uh, Dipesh Sharma has uh, mixed and mastered the song. Unfortunately, today. Mayuk uh, Dada could not be with us in the session. He is traveling, but we are going to really miss him and listening mm. to his perspective and uh, his experiences about the song. Oh, आप सबको बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कि आप सब मिलकर निहिरा जो कि बहुत ही होनहार सिंगर हैं, कंपोजर हैं, उन्होंने इतना अच्छा एल्बम बनाया है त्रिशना आप सबका प्यार जो हमारे इस एल्बम को मिल रहा है हम सभी म्यूजिशियंस को जिस तरह आप लोग प्रोत्साहन दे रहे हैं इसके लिए मैं सबसे पहले आप सबका बड़ा बड़ा आभार व्यक्त करता हूं थैंक यू सो मच नहीरा के बारे में कहना चाहूंगा बहुत ही समझदार होनहार इंसान है बहुत अच्छा गाती हैं बहुत अच्छा कविता समझती हैं बहुत अच्छी सेंसिबिलिटी है कि एक कंपोजर होना एक गायक होना कविता की समझ रखना और इन तीनों का एक सही संमिश्रण जो कि गीतों में सोर्स पैदा करती है इमोशन पैदा करती है तो so, ये बहुत बड़ी बात है कि जब कोई गायक या गायिका कविता की समझ रखता हो और फिर जब वो कंपोज करे धुन बनाए तो जो भाव कविता के हैं वही उसके धुन में व्यक्त हो पाना ये सबसे बड़ी बात है शब्दों को धुन में पिरोना एक पहलू है दूसरा पहलू है भाव को सुरों में पिरोना और जब भाव और शब्द मिल जाते हैं और दोनों को एक धुन मिलता है तब एक गीत एक कंपोजिशन तैयार होता है फाइनल किया जाता है अप्रूव किया जाता है पूरे सम्मान के साथ सो so, मेरी बड़ी खुशकिस्मती रही कि मैं निहिरा जी के इस एल्बम का हिस्सा हुआ हिस्सा बन पाया मेरा सौभाग्य है कि मुझे दो गीतों पर काम करने का मौका मिला तृष्णा स्पंदन की और तृष्णा बंधन की और जिस तरह आप सब लोगों का प्रोत्साहन प्यार हमें मिल रहा है निहिरा के काम को मिल रहा है ये पूरे संगीत समाज और हम सब आर्टिस्ट्स के लिए एक बहुत ही अच्छी बात है बहुत सम्माननीय बात है 
क्योंकि आप सबका प्रोत्साहन हम सब की एनर्जी को बढ़ाती है और हम और अच्छा काम करने के लिए हमेशा तत्पर रहेंगे रहते हैं करेंगे करते रहेंगे मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि इतना अच्छा कलात्मक सोच के साथ इस एल्बम को डिजाइन किया गया है एक तरफ कृष्ण है एक तरफ राधा है एक तरफ मीरा है और ये तीनों ही नाम हमारे संस्कार में जैसे भक्ति रस के लिए लिया गया है वैसे प्रेम रस के लिए भी लिया गया है मुझे लगता है आज दुनिया में चारों तरफ इतनी अशांति है इंसान परेशान भी है काफी इस बीच भगवान को याद करना या भक्ति भाव को महसूस कर पाना या प्रेम रस का आनंद ले पाना क्षणिक मात्र है और इन सभी भावों का एक सम्मिश्रण एक सही अभिव्यक्ति है तृष्णा मैं दोबारा कहूंगा इस एल्बम में काम करने का जो मुझे सौभाग्य मिला जो बहुत खुशी है क्योंकि ये बहुत ही सम्मानजनक काम था और एज ए म्यूजिशियन मैं बोलना चाहूंगा कि निहिरा ने जिस तरह मुझे एक बार कहा था कि ऐसा नहीं वैसा करते हैं वैसा नहीं और कुछ करते हैं और कुछ करते हैं द बेस्ट पार्ट वॉज पूरे प्रोसेस का जो सबसे अच्छी बात ये थी कि निहिरा ने मुझे कहा कि दादा आप जो हैं वो आप बजाइए जो आप महसूस कर रहे हैं वो आप बनाइए हमें किसी की तरह या जो जिस तरह का भी संगीत आज चारों तरफ होता है हो रहा है हमें किसी की तरह काम नहीं करना है हमें वो काम करना है जो हम खुद महसूस करते हैं और जो कविता को भी जस्टिफाई करें और कंपोजिशन को भी जस्टिफाई करें सो so, निहिरा के साथ जो मेरा म्यूजिक मेकिंग का एक्सपीरियंस हुआ उसका सबसे अच्छा बात यही था कि मैं एक बूंद भी प्रेशराइज्ड नहीं फील किया कि इस गाने को मुझे ऐसा बना देना है जैसे संसार में कोई दूसरा गाना ना हो मैं इस गाने को उस तरह बना पाया मैं इन गानों को उस तरह बना पाया जैसा गाने की धुन को सुनकर पहली बार मुझे जो भाव आए थे सो थैंक यू निहिरा थैंक यू सो मच कि आपने मुझे अपने एल्बम में काम करने का अवसर दिया और मैं सभी म्यूजिशियंस जितने सारे लोग इस पूरे एल्बम में काम किए हैं सभी लेखक जिन्होंने इन कविताओं की रचना करी है सबको मेरी तरफ से तह दिल से बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद कहता हूं और मैं आशा करता हूं कि हम सब मिलकर आने वाले दिनों में और बहुत अच्छा काम करेंगे और नई सोच पर काम करेंगे नई दिशा की तरफ आगे बढ़ेंगे और ये बहुत अच्छी बात होगी क्योंकि जब अच्छा म्यूजिक होगा तो मन अच्छा रहेगा काम अच्छा होगा आप सबको अच्छा लगेगा हम हमारे हेरिटेज को सही दिशा में आगे बढ़ा पाएंगे थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच लाइव टेमी आज के इस लाइव टॉक शो के लिए और मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि आपने इस पूरे प्रोजेक्ट को इस तरह संभाला लिया और आज आपके माध्यम से हम पूरी दुनिया से बात कर रहे हैं Thank you so much. Namaste. Wow. Wow, such a lovely uh, message from Mayuk Dada. Mm. And uh, it only reflects that he is so sincere and mm. how academic he mm. is in his. Our our Hindi ki bhi revision ho gayi thi. But you know, it was really nice to have uh, someone like Mayuk Dada. for these songs because uh, it was not just about production production or sound the production had to be sensitive to the emotions and 
what the poem was trying to say and that was something somebody with this understanding of the language or this 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 amount of sensitivity he uh, pulled it off wonderfully so is this is a very sincere musician very very sincere musician uh, and um, very receptive to ideas very open to you know suggestions and at the same time he knows how to put his foot down also uh yeah no that's necessary because a lot of times you might suggest something that might not be good for the song so somebody has to put a foot down saying no okay this cannot happen and this is the reason behind it and uh, i'm hmm. very grateful to mayuk dada for being you know taking care of these two songs very important and uh, thank you so much once again amay for introducing me to mayuk dada he was the one who asked me okay why don't you you know get introduced to mayuk sarkar and uh, he'll definitely do a brilliant yeah, because job because i know both of you very well i knew that it would connect well it was uh, no it was lovely and the way he has distinguished between the two songs that he has worked on so let's talk about trishna spandan ki the first song <laughs> um i remember how it started shashi ji is a student of mine i mean i don't like to say it i uh, he's a student of mine bahut bade hain mujhse but i don't know mai kya sikhati hu inko but sikhte hain so and he is a wonderful poet he is a sketch artist and he keeps sharing his work with me on whatsapp and the mukhda of the song and the antara of the song they are two different verses com- completely different from each other sent on completely two different days dono ka aapas mein koi connection nahi tha but somehow mujhe wo dono verses aise laga that they could go back to back and uh, form and create a tune together mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i would like that's to a, ask that, that's a sign of a very good composer only composers can do that i have i've only seen jagjit ji do that Mm-hmm. Okay. Lots of times. I agree. No, I honestly, I just followed my heart. I mean, Mayuk Dada also said some really wonderful things about me. I am only grateful that uh, these tunes just came to me. Honestly, I don't know how I made them. <laughs> so, um, Shashi ji, I would like that. to. <laughs> you can you can tell listening to the songs that the the songs have come to you. I mean, oh. anyone can sit down and try to compose like that. ऐसी बात नहीं है दिस इज सो ऑर्गेनिक एंड आई गेस यू वर द या यू वर द मीडियम या आई वाज द यू सेड इट एब्सोल्युटली राइट आई वाज द मीडियम या सो शशि जी हाउ वाज योर रिएक्शन आई मीन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू बिकॉज़ आपने तो आपको तो आई आई डोंट थिंक यू एंटिसिपेटेड दैट दिस वुड बी कंपोज्ड इनटू अ ट्यून एंड नॉट एट ऑल नॉट एट ऑल नॉट एट ऑल So, were you satisfied with it, and what did you think about it? Satisfied will be a very uh, short, very small word for that. इसके लिए शब्द ढूंढना मुश्किल है. Hindi is okay or no? I don't. Yes, yes, very much. Mm-hmm. I thank you, thank you to the whole team, uh, Trishna album ki. Um, सत्यजीत ऑल्सो ये um, आप सिखाती हो नहीं सिखाती हो वो मैं, मैंने डिसाइड करना है आपने नहीं करना <laughs> <laughs> तो मुझे आई I मीन mean, बहुत सारे पहलुओं में बहुत कुछ सीखने मिलता है अभी भी और uh, मैंने बंदिशें काफ़ी लिखी थी कुछ बीस hmm. पच्चीस तो लिखी होंगी और uh, उसके जो कॉम्पोजिशन बन के आते थे वो जनरली यू नो यू हैव एक्सपेक्टेशन कि ये राग होगा ये तीन ताल होगा एक ताल होगा या जो भी तो एंड आई मीन दे वर ऑल्सो वेरी गुड बट दिस वॉज लाइक कम्प्लीट अटर सरप्राइज कि अरे ये कैसे हो गया बिकॉज आई रिमेम्बर यू हैव सेंट इट टू मी लाइक करे पिया पिया सोर पपी हरवा सुध छीन गयो मोरी साजन वाह लाइक तीन ताल थी एंड शाम मोहन छल बालम वाह कैसी मोहिनी हसे अति सुंदर वाह एज दी अंतरा जैसे बंदिश में चार लाइंस होती हैं वैसे करेक्ट करेक्ट तो या तो ये इट स्टार्टेड आई थिंक 
the first one I sent you was in January. And uh, mm-hmm. February, I think, we did some more changes to it. Uh, May, I think sometime in May, you actually mm-hmm. told me that you have a plan. And mm-hmm. uh, then I learned a lot that, अच्छा ठीक है खाली एक मात्रा गिन लेने से नहीं हो जाता है यू नो लाइक आई सी सो मच पैरल बिटवीन स्केचिंग पेंटिंग और इवन स्कल्पिंग टू द म्यूजिक लाइक यू हैव लेयर्स राइट यू हैव ईच लेयर ब्रिंगिंग समथिंग आउट एंड विदाउट दैट लेयर इट विल बी कम्प्लीटली वेस्टेड एफर्ट सो एवरीबडी हैज डन देयर लेयर पार्ट एंड इट हैज फाइनली मुकम्मल होना जो कहते हैं ना दिस वन कॉम्प्लीमेंट आई वुड लाइक टू पे यू शशि जी दैट वॉट यू रोट वॉज वेरी कंपोजेबल ट्यून कुड कम आउट ऑफ इट वेरी इजीली ज्यादा मुश्किल नहीं हुई झट से हो गया तो वो एक वो एक म्यूजिशियन एक म्यूजिक था उसी में वेरी कंपोजेबल काइंड ऑफ वर्सेस तो दैट इज वन कॉम्प्लीमेंट आई वुड लाइक टू इंस्टाग्राम एंड फेसबुक एंड दैट्स वेर दीपेश सर ही कनेक्टेड एनी विच वे वी हैव नोन इच अदर फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई थिंक ही इज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट इंजीनियर्स to have recorded me when i was very small and uh, ever since uh, you know we've been in touch and when he heard this tune on instagram he uh, instantly messaged me he wrote over there also and he messaged me saying that he really liked it a lot and you know he would love to be associated and of course i have heard his work phenomenal work in so many films and other projects and uh, i thought it would be an honor to have uh, him on the song and on this project so when we finally completed the song i asked him once again if he would like to be on board and he was happily on board so uh, dipesh sir what was it like for you i mean we've met once in that swastika yeah. studio and uske baad hum mile nahi hai sirf yeah. whatsapp par hi baat hui hai yeah so I mean, yeah, best, uh, so I would like to start with uh, इन्होंने शशि जी ने पहले बात बताया कि जी मत लगाइए मैं ये कहूंगा कि आपका जो जो काम है जो चॉइस ऑफ वर्ड्स जो शब्दावली जो है जिस तरह से उसको जो लिरिक्स का जो फ्लो आया है वो जी लग जाता है अपने आप बिकॉज uh, ये uh, ये हर किसी की बस की बात नहीं है और uh, Uh, coming back to that Instagram clip because because the words are such, firstly the words themselves are so musical, the thought mm-hmm. and the you know they're so they're so soft and they're it, they only they're felt, up, even though you can make out the sense and the meaning, but they just feel so nice. And then when I saw that Instagram clip when you were actually singing those words, I mean it was uh, I cannot explain the effect that it had on me. Uh, i till this song i i just had a faint idea that uh, that you could compose uh, you know i thought matlab compose abhi is waqt to you know mahal aisa hai ki sare compose karte hain it's like everyone everyone says that yeah i compose i have a few songs that's very good lekin uh, jab ye suna i was like dude this is uh, this is next level or rather this is something else बिकॉज ऐसा गाना बनाना ऐसा गाना गाना तो बहुत मुश्किल है अगर ये लिरिक्स किसी के पास जाएंगे तो वो पहले तो उसको वक्त लेगा वो वो बोलेगा मैं लोना वाला जाता हूँ मैं पंचगने जाता हूँ मैं कंपोज करके आता हूँ उसको वक्त लगेगा बहुत इंस्टाग्राम क्लिप मैंने वो सेव की क्लिप आई हर्ड दैट लाइक एटलीस्ट आई वुड से ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी टाइम्स एंड आई वॉज मई गो मैं अपने पापा को मिस करने लग गया बिकॉज ही वॉज एन एल पी लक्ष्मण बेगल फैन तो मैं कहता था कि वो होते वो सुनते ही वुड ही वुड वो रिचनेस ऑफ द कंपोजिशन द नोट्स और वो गायकी उन वर्ड्स को ऐसे रखना सामने और वो कितना था वो इनिशियली कुछ दो तीन लाइन सी थी 
you know it's, right, it was right. it was not even a full no. song no, i had to good. write to her yeah i had to write to her uh i messaged her as like this has <laughs> had a therapeutic effect on me this song aur un dinon mein thoda sa waise bhi zyada ek usme difficult phase se ja raha tha and i was not feeling good about anything that song actually helped me it like me go you know i felt uh, it raised my spirits in a way oh. so i would say i got i saw like a crack in the in the door and i i got like a back door entry into the project and i was lucky because uh, i don't think nira was even planning firstly to record the song or she was like it's just an idea and i was like uh, isko isko na you, you cannot just leave it as an idea this must go out in the universe because ye bahut kamaal cheez hai you're sitting on gold and then next conversation it seemed that she found it to be the right fit into the album that she was already working yeah. on then uh, it came to this level and she said because it's hamari uh, initially pehle baat ho chuki hai would you like to mix it and all that you know so like ye to wala sone pe suhaga ho gaya because uh, i would absolutely love to there is no way that i'm saying that i'm busy or i you know i would not be interested so great job neera actually thank you so much and the mix is wonderful i mean i've heard uh, this is something i mean unfortunately before in the first song i could not convey this to amay nicely because of all the technical glitches that happened i have yeah. heard great things about all the the mixes of all the four songs the first yeah, song also uh, i have received compliments specifically about the mix that it was a tough song to mix and he's done Absolutely. a wonderful job yeah. this song uh, dipesh sir ne jis tarah se kiya hua hai bahut logon ne mujhe especially when musicians write feedback to you mm. they write about the mm. mix also yeah. so a lot I, of i remember i remember yeah. the message i i she was like i feel all mixes are because we were talking about uh, you know as a master album ko ek master karna chahiye wagera for uniformity of sound yeah. and all that and she said that uh, i feel all mixes are so special and everything i was like i am i feel i feel the same in a way ki matlab mere upar pressure aa gaya hai ulta zyada ki mera mix kahi aisa itna acha kaam hua hai main aise hi you know i just took an entry into the project and aisa mera ek gana aisa na ho jaye jisme maine kiya hai isko ek master karwa lete hain <laughs> no i just oh. told him that every song is different every mix is different just like every yeah yeah cook would make a different i don't i don't know bring a different taste to the same ingredients mm-hmm. so absolutely absolutely everyone has done their unique part so yeah, yeah. I, i think what is special about um, the entire song and the mix about it is the whole song has a graph something that grows 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 and yes, towards the yes. end i remember amay made me sing it like a rock song i mean not like a rock song but in the end the coda mm. he made he told me now think of it as a rock song mm. i told him i can't sing like a rock singer he's like you're not a rock singer at all but just the think vibe, of it like yeah. a rock so song the way it ends in yeah. and you sing like yeah. that Yeah. So and this this reflects in the mix also. It just grows, 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 grows. So that's no, how. No, it's, it's only because the way it's been it's been treated. I would give Ghana because firstly it's difficult to sing this to render this song in a way that it has been, and uh, it's only sounding like that. It's because of the way the song is just as it was produced so well, the way the production is, and the way he's recorded your vocals. Uskan the pura wo hai vesa. so hmm. easily mix the translate ho gaya i mean i'm just reacting to whatever that i got oh mayuk but, but dada ka you. base yeah. sorry yeah <laughs> mayuk yeah. dada ka base hai na spandan matlab hmm. to me spandan is like the beat right hard beat oh to okay itna badhiya match kiya hai wo base mein unhone and it just yeah, yeah. as you yeah. said as you said it grows Rupesh, i don't know what you have done on the kick but it... lovely the way it's sounding that oh thank you yaar thank yeah. you <laughs> thank you thank you amir wo beech mein thoda aapne wo kuch jab reverb ya echo jo dala hai voice ke sath see the the reference that i got from neera was that ki ye gana na dheere 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 it's like it's growing end mm-hmm. mein wo ja ke na it becomes like a bilkul wo crescendo hai but if yes, you yes. my from my perspective the song is slowly opening up where it completely mm-hmm. pre- comes out in its full form towards the very end it's the end is in apne aap mein wo thoda chaotic hai it's like uh, mm-hmm. it's like too many things playing guitars bhi hain sab kuch hai and she's singing in the high notes 
बट लेकिन वो उसमें एक तरह का क्रिशेंडो है इट इट डजन वो हिट नहीं करता वो वहां पे फीलिंग्स अपने हाईएस्ट उसमें है सो मैंने मैंने पूरा नहीं सुना था मेरे लिए तो बहुत बड़ा सरप्राइज था जब लास्ट वाला द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट व्हेन आई हर्ड दैट बिकॉज़ यू डिडंट शेयर एवरीथिंग इन द बिगनिंग नो सो आई वाज लाइक ओके ये इतनी सारी और उसमें द मोमेंट आई गॉट द फर्स्ट ड्राफ्ट आई थिंक आई हैड शेयर्ड विद यू मैंने ड्राफ्ट मिला ड्राफ्ट मिला बट आई एम सेइंग लेटर ऑन जब फाइनली सुनो ना तो एक एकदम आंख बंद करके एंड देन यू आर लाइक वाओ इसमें जैसे कुछ आप बफे में जाओ ना आपको खाने के लिए रहता है बहुत कुछ एंड देन यू आर लाइक लेट मी टेस्ट दिस लिटिल बिट लेट मी टेस्ट दिस लिटिल बिट एंड आराम से एकदम सुकून के साथ तो वो सारा कुछ दिखा उसमें सत्यजीत इज राइटिंग ओवर हियर दैट कृष्णा स्पंदन की इज माय मोस्ट फेवरेट ट्रैक फ्रॉम द एल्बम सो मेलोडिक एंड आई स्लीप लाइक अ बेबी व्हाइल लूपिंग द सॉन्ग he wrote yes. this to me also on, on whatsapp that he actually sleeps so basically it's an angai for him thank you so much satyajit angai with the rock section in the end iska ek aur verse bhi tha jo she suggested nahi aajkal lamba nahi sunte log to idea was ki abhi she is waiting she is waiting and then finally when he comes krishna comes wo ek idea tha but maybe someday it will happen <laughs> no it will happen someday the reason uh, more than anything else i wanted to stay honest to the mood yeah. of every song because right, if right. there are two to three emotions in one song it cannot yeah the first true, one was true, about the true. wait for krishna and his music in the rain uh-huh. the second yes. one had to be about she longing for him and that longing not getting fulfilled mm-hmm. it had to be about that that's the yeah. reason actually we did not uh, me baad mein samajh mein aaya that you had a yeah. theme for the whole yeah. album <laughs> yes, yes yes exactly so uh, amay made me sing this song in a very different way actually i mm-hmm. i had approached the song a little more uh, i don't know softly but he made me go a little stronger on the vocals this time he is like you have to go all out open completely open for this one so and the, the first, coda part the, also yeah the first one he didn't want you to be angry in the second one he wanted you to <laughs> 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 i i have a question for amaya yeah do jis tarah se like you know as the song opens and mm. where the song ends because there's so much uh, change in the whole delivery uh, singing me did mm. you have to uh, i'm i'm uh, i'm understanding that you might have usko pieces mein kiya hoga you know mm. alag alag kiya hoga but did you have to change anything to record it like did she have to like take a break and kuch aur approach your how did no, you manage no. that no we i don't think we took a break but uh no i was clear when i heard the track and the song i i i knew how it although it was uh, not uh, suitable to her natural style the way she had right. sung it when she composed it exactly mm. exactly but I, I i when i hear a song i get that you know i i and she listens to me so she, Yeah, because that Instagram clip and to what was recorded, us me farak to hai, and Haan. it's it's a it's a pleasant change actually. It's actually very well defined. No, the way the song is composed, I feel it's it needs that little show off of Gaiki. Ah, you know right. what she is capable of, and she is naturally not that kind of a singer. Will try to show off. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of complaints. Uh, he always says I should show it off a little, flaunt it a little. So, yes, uh, hope you can sing a few lines from any of your songs. Of course, since Trishna Spandan ki is your favorite, I think I can uh, sing a few lines towards the end of. our session from krishna spandan ki and uh, so 
मुझे पूछना था ये पंचम माल कौन सी क्यों लिया आपने एक्चुअली uh, हाँ मतलब आई डोंट नो पंचम माल कौन सी और संपूर्ण माल कौन संपूर्ण संपूर्ण माल कौन आई डोंट नो इट जस्ट फेल्ट लाइक अ डिफरेंट चॉइस वाई नॉट आई सेड ओके लेट मी ट्राई संपूर्ण माल कौन वाई नॉट एंड देन इन द अंतर आई हैव फेल्ट लाइक गोइंग इन टू दैट जोक कौंस थिंग बिकॉज एनी वे आई एम एनचैंटेड विद जोक कौंस एज अ राग उसको मैं छुपा के बाद में रिलीज करूंगी No, actually actually the 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 words words guided it honestly words the guided. first mm-hmm. words came just very immediately when when I uh, saw your your uh, your paid attention to your words. then the mm-hmm. mukda came out very instantly at that time and mm-hmm. when I focused on all the other verses that you had sent me उसमें से वो जो अलबेली तेरी प्रीत वालम दैट वॉज ट्वेंट विथ इट and the only thing i think we changed was kare piya piya sor papi harwa originally what he had written was uh, dadurva <laughs> nahi nahi dadurva nahi there was some other thought mandar man mein mangalaye sajanwa wo tha man mein mangalaye sajanwa right but since this was about longing and she missing him Uh-huh. it cannot Thoda be mangle mangle sajan wa so correct, i correct, asked correct. him to change that and he gave this option of uh, sud chhin gayo mori sajan wa which uh-huh. contributed to the madness of the song and the thought i think right right, right main uh-huh. actually pehle jab maine wo receive kiya to i was like badi artist hai main kaise kuch bolu ki ye jam nahi raha hai are badi artist then Then finally I told ki ye situation aisi hai, isme ye portray ho raha hai. Then she said, ah, to isko badalna padega. <laughs> Because we had to stay honest to that Trishna, that's why. Correct, yes, correct, correct, yes, correct. Yes, correct. Yes, correct. Yes, to wo sab mere liye seek thi na, matlab ki kisi ko jo chahiye wo usme wo suit chain ke gayo ke liye bhi saath aata options hai. <laughs> Fir finally she accepted one. <laughs> Wow. I was like, "Chalo, ho gaya ek." <laughs> no, but I was very lucky to have, you know, all of them. All, all the collaborators on this album have been very relentless. एक बार भी किसी ने नहीं कहा कि आप नहीं अब बस अब और try नहीं करना है या और ऐसे कुछ नहीं है. Everybody was uh, very enthusiastic about trying new things, and that was. i think uh, the secret or the or i don't know the positive energy behind the creations no it got so, the best out of everyone i think that is what the other right, right, songs right, were about right. yeah yeah i remember so, deepesh ji's comment unka tha ki mark your uh, mark your name on this immediately and i would love to work i remember that and then i looked at ye kon hai तो पता चला एक और शर्मा जी है वर्क ऑफ दिस एल्बम आई कैन सी आई मीन मयूक दादा आई सॉ लिटिल बेट ऑनलाइन बट आई मीन आई I am totally new to this field, right? I just mm. enjoy music or sketching, etc. Professionally, to nahi ho kuch. So, just to be able to be part of this, yeah, it's thank you for all <laughs> everybody's work. Mm-hmm. So, thank you so much, and uh, I would once again like to thank uh, Dipesh sir, Shashi ji, Amay once again. he was right. a very important yeah. part of the song as well because to get the vocals the correct kind of vocals for correct. this song was uh, and the way he pushed me to sing it 
was very crucial for the result because i do remember receiving comments that you sound very different from what you've sounded earlier in all the other uh, songs that you've sung in the last few years and this is the best you've sounded in the uh, in the last few years so and mayuk dada uh, not to forget him and the mm. kind of sound design the kind of soundscape he created yeah, for yeah. this song yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. so i would like to thank everybody for being a part of trishna spandan ki and i am hoping to continue working with you all in likewise. future likewise likewise yes. this was really likewise, special likewise likewise very memorable <laughs> yes as requested by uh, somebody i'll just sing a few lines um uh of trishna spandan ki and then we will move on to uh, the next song so here it goes <laughs> करे पिया पिया सोर पपी हरवा करे पिया पिया सोर पपी हरवा सुध छीन गयो मोरी साजनवा श्याम मोहन छैल बालवा कैसी मोहिनी हसे अति सुंदरवा कर पिया पिया सो पति हरवा सुध छीन गयो मोरी साजनवा श्याम मोहन छलवा कैसी मोहिनी हसे अति सुंदरवा थैंक यू सो मच thanks a lot and uh, thank you dipesh ji thank you shashi ji thank you thank you and, well thank uh, you am i will stay on for the third song before we move on to trishna bandhan ki i see here richa devraj richa and i were uh, you know participants in sare gama together i used to call her richa didi and uh, she is a brilliant singer she herself composes wonderfully and i am very happy that she is over here attending the session and uh, she has written some really nice things about me thank you so much richa didi and uh, please stay on for the session it's nice to have you so uh, unfortunately trishna bandhan ki the lyricist tejas ranade who is actually a very important uh, part of the project is not there mm. uh, he had committed to being there but uh, something must have come up i have mm. asked him but he is not there so trishna bandhan ki was a very tough song i remember for me because this topic of we are not used to hearing radha demanding anything ever and that in itself was a very progressive subject i would say that uh, tejas proposed when i approached him for uh, writing a song and uh, when i composed krishna bandhan ki it, it took me a while to find a route for towards the composition for krishna bandhan ki but uh, finally when i made the song of course tejas had really liked it and uh, i shared it with amay i remember the composition and i myself was very skeptical about whether i have done justice to the topic or not and it was am i who actually assured me that it's actually sounding very convincing and i should go ahead with the song i was planning to sort of drop it on an analyt not because i had not liked the poem mm. but because i was i thought probably i have not been able to do justice to it that's it so uh, unfortunately tejas is not there 
to talk about the song he's also written the opening poem for trishna with which the album opens mm. and he's named the album also so uh anyway amay what do you have to say about this song and uh, in general you were the one who connected me and tejas i really wish tejas was here because he yes would be the right person to speak about um True. Uh, but uh, hmm. uh, I uh, I don't know why you had questions in your mind about the uh, the composition. I loved the way it was uh, shaping up the moment I heard it. So I asked you to go ahead with it. And yes. Mayukda, of course, did a fantastic job. Like fabulous, that, fabulous. That was the the you know that that he completed it. You know, exactly. It was, uh, the the lyrics were fantastic. The composition was nice, but it needed that very intelligent arrangement. And he exactly it needed it. the correct arrangement. So I remember I had almost given up. hopes on this song and that's when uh, amay introduced me to mayuk dada and first he actually did trishna bandhan ki and the kind of uh, approach that he is used the sound scape is very um, the guitars they bring out the turmoil in her mind in her heart all the time and uh, and at the same time he there is a pleasant connotation to it also so it's almost like what radha is feeling on the inside the turmoil but on the outside she cannot react with anything else but love for krishna so that uh we want to know about voice culture breathing exercises okay we will come to it uh, later so it was very uh, what he did was brilliant because this topic has not been handled i don't think tejas i mean i heard this topic being handled for the first time through tejas when he uh, gave this poem to me and uh, the ad lib of the song itself defines it the root sakuna tumse main kanha baat sakuna tumko main mohan roop kyun tore aise tu hi hai ek hai gokul ek vrindavan so what he meant by that was gokul is how he appears to the world and vrindavan is how he is behind the doors so why this duality this is something every woman probably goes through and i think he has expressed uh this turmoil very beautifully through his poem and um, unfortunately he is not there he would have probably you know given thrown more light on it but from what i know tejas wanted to bring out the human side of radha's uh, love through this song we hmm. have spoken of her divine submission the divinity between radha and krishna but with this song he wanted to bring out the uh, human side of her love the imperfections of her in, he wanted to bring out her insecurities her anxieties and uh, that is that in itself was very unique so how how did you go about the, uh, i remember when we recorded the vocals you told me the first verse has to sound like a complaint then mm. in the second verse it has to sound more loving etc mm. etc This is this was these were the tips that made it really easy for me, mm-hmm. and I think once we cracked the mukhda, then antara onwards it went on very smoothly. Right, mukhda took I, took some time, I guess. I, I it took remember. some time because I was skeptical about it, as I told you. I was not sure if I had handled it well or not. Mm-hmm. So that that uh, doubt in my mind was keeping me from delivering. Right. and it was audible yeah <laughs> but 
i mean ultimately in the you know the sec- the words on words it started flowing well mm. and uh, how did you go about the mix of this song what was it there because there were many tracks that mayuk dada had sent right many tracks so everything was necessarily about the turmoil in the mind yeah. in radha's mind and uh, you know as i got into the mix i felt it needed some monotony some uh, you know something that she's just doing she just keeps doing she's complaining she um is demanding you know that mm mm-hmm. uh she is pushing for something so i used delays lots of delays for that you know mm-hmm. that continuous repeats of everything and you know that that creates that uh, mahol you know everything repeating ambient very ambient so. yeah and only in the last line like suddenly the delays are gone and she is she knows what she wants I, i just took off all that treatment in the last line i don't remember what the last line is but sehlungi main 100000 naam hmm, right, right. jo mora to he sang aave right so the so idea was, behind was, this that, that that point was like very strong so yes. it was it needed some some strong different that from I'm the just... rest of the song so i just turned off all the delays i think we decided of co- also to cut off the uh, percussion over there and just keep mm. the guitar effects and uh, the voice over there right because what they just wanted to write over there was krishna may have had other women in his life but mm. the one name that is associated with him is always radha it's always radha krishna so that's what he was trying to say sehlungi mai 100000 naam jo bas mora to he sang aave so i i remember when i sent uh, the song to uh, a musician cousin of mine he said it's sounding very smooth and, and it, this this is i think my guru's favorite song from the mm-hmm. album also so it, it i think mayu dada has also used a lot of influences from you know the british rock british style of music making like radiohead and mm. uh, porcupine tree these bands the kind of guitar work that they do in their songs and uh, that sounds very interesting over here and uh, i'm i'm just happy it turned out the way it did after all the speculation and mm-hmm. all the anxieties that i had about the song uh over here parvez is saying that Neera ji is my favorite singer, and uh, Riya's tips and breathing exercises, and of course, I mean, um, all of that cannot be explained over here in uh, this session. But of course, pranayam helps a great deal to you know increase your strength and uh, to when you start off. I mean, this is what I can just share. as a musician what i practice that uh, a lot of focus on stable notes can help uh stable notes are something we all sort of ignore and we all run behind taiyari but of course taiyari comes when you have stability in your voice is i mean this is my personal experience when there is clarity of thought of course so yeah a lot of focus on stable notes can help i feel you definitely try that and let me know and uh, shashi ji once again is saying just in awe for the whole thing as they say the whole is bigger than the sum total hats off team um thank you so much shashi ji and uh, unfortunately with respect to trishna bandhan ki um we'll have to move on to the next song i feel because we don't have a very important component of the mm-hmm. song with us that is tejas rana day because it's a very poetry oriented song 
the entire composition follows what the poem is trying to say like bilode manu sparsh se tore bilode what he is trying to say is uh, the act of uh, making chhas so bilode manu sparsh se tore that's why bilode those all those movements so the entire tune follows the words that's what uh, i would like to say and uh, yeah Hello, hi Apurva, welcome back. Hi Saurav. Hello. Hi. How are you? All good. I'm good. Yes, yes, all good. And Amay has disappeared for uh, a while, but for all the others, uh, this is the team of uh, Trishna Samarpan ki, the last song of the album. Saurav Bhale Rao, a brilliant music producer. then uh, apurva as you know uh, saurabh i think you have to uh, turn the phone to landscape yes and uh, just like the other trishnas this is the last one in the series as the name suggests uh, samarpan is to submit so this is where radha is looking at a closure she's looking for closure she's looking to submit to krishna we can assume that probably he is uh, a little i don't know they've had a disagreement or an argument that's why kahe root gaye ho re krishna rutha hua hai and she is trying to patch up so this is what uh, this song is about it's a bhairavi and ironically the first song that we made in uh, krishna and which kicked off the idea of having more songs uh, in this series so it started with apurva i think i was completely in a bhairavi zone at that time i was doing a, i was learning bhairavi from my guru and was spending a lot of time uh, practicing bhairavi so i told apurva i was in a mood to compose something in that rag and uh, then she sent me uh, this first verse i think sham ko dhundan chali sagre ka chhod re jasoda ke nandan tum ka hai root gaye ore this is what uh, she sent me so tell me apurva uh, this was in fact this song was your first experience as a lyricist yes yes this is where it all started yes uh yeah and i did not dream that it would be on spotify that it would be so <laughs> like so useful and uh, i just i was like okay radha krishna like bandishes i have learned so many so many mm -hmm. and in that the most of the themes were based on vrindavan and uh, uh, even horis and thumris were about krishna so mm -hmm. i had a lot of vocabulary and when you said that it it must be bhairavi and it should be a bit uh, like sad and showing some angst uh, melancholy emotions, yeah emotions so uh, the words came to me and the thing is the her singing inspired these words she sent to me a voice note i think uh, of her singing bhairavi and it was so intense it was so intense like the words came to me literally so that is how i wrote the words in this in the song the like the before the lyrics the tune was set like we knew where what what was it to be and all ideas were there and after that the lyrics came so i think it is a very special song yeah i mean the approach we knew we had to do something in bhairavi and then mm. you sent uh, the words and uh, it was very nice for me to you know compose something in a rag that i had actually submitted myself to bhairavi yeah in in, in those few months and uh, day and night i used to listen to 
different renditions of bhairavi of different artists so as i said samarpan maybe that was the uh, that's where the samarpan came from so hmm. and uh, then i think you wrote the antar after i sent you the mukhda and yeah and during my india trip i think and the song does not have exactly a very fixed compositional format the especially the beginning is a lot like how we unfold one a uh, single note in a bada khayal how we yes. keep opening one one card it's unfold almost is, like that. unfold is the perfect word for for the whole part first part so first i think when i visited saurabh in mumbai and we jammed over this song and uh, we didn't have any clear format for the song at all even at that time but uh, he was excited he was very much willing to be on board so saurab uh, can you tell us about uh, what was it like for you to work in uh, to work on krishna samarpan ki well for first thing properly properly uh, no you are cracking you are cracking i in the meanwhile there is milind date who has joined us hi milind he is a wonderful flautist himself and uh, a very encouraging co musician and thank you for appreciating and being there yes okay can you hear me now clearly yes now Hello? we can yeah so i think for this time when we and when we we were uh, jamming on uh, the main, main melody melancholy and it, it like i was just playing over it but then what really stuck stuck me why would you uh, do like study bhairavi for so such a long, long thing which you mentioned back then then there are so you are kind of breaking ha huh? your 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 voice is not continuous म्यूजिशियन spend some time with, with raga it's uh, uh, beauty in so sim- similarly when i was doing i understand that bhairavi is where you can ex- explore the chromatic in terms of hmm. chords or in, in terms of the chromatic n- notes can be full with the uh, uh, rendition of bhairavi, the shades of bhairavi so i started jamming over for the song again in kept growing and growing lockdown during that, that time more, more i got more, more time to just come up with different shades in over the same composition so it started and then of the sharing of the uh, what i want and then it got evolved more but that's how it started and i remember uh, when i got carlos and ernan on board i shared with them the idea that i am making an album on radha and the first song is ready and i had sent this song to them and uh, they just wanted to get an idea of what's happening what is uh, the soundscape of the rest of the album so that and after listening to this he was i don't know he was sort of speechless is what he wrote to me he said he he felt something very intense even though he could not understand the words as i had not shared what the thought of the song was but he felt something he could not express in words i think it's the greatness of that scale that you know takes you into that zone because you 
एक्सप्लोर एवरीथिंग and then there is also and i think uh, yes there is everything i mean uh, so he he felt something very intense and i remember tejas had a similar reaction when i shared this song with him he texted me saying i just need some time to react i don't think i can react immediately to this so yeah i don't know but you've done a brilliant job saurabh uh, bringing out that intensity through your work and the way you've introduced one one instrument and the way you have you know done your counter phrases when i am improvising there's this small piano uh, fillers that you are playing in terem that's brilliant absolutely no, brilliant so and because i come from a very my approach is always what's the storytelling part of this yeah. so yes while saurabh joins back uh i rem- yes this was the kind of reaction i was having about this song and especially from carlos and hernan who don't know anything there was another uh, musician i know from cuba ronald mente even he had a similar reaction he's like i'm not able to say anything right now please give me some time Mm. I so, I had written the song and I had this reaction <laughs> when I listened to the final version of it. And, and I remember when we uh, dubbed the vocals, uh, Amay was not very happy with my approach in the beginning. He's like, I need something more, something more. And then at one point, I told him that, you know, now I'm not going to strategize. I'm just going to sing the way I want. i think i'm strategizing too much that is what is keeping me from emoting let me just not think not strategize at all and submit and then let's see what happens and i think that's when the final take finally happened i don't uh, that was long back actually before the lockdown before i, I, I don't remember he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't I, he just don't remember even yesterday's thing <laughs> 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 oh sabrab is oh, back guru ji yeah. with mic yeah i had to switch on to the main screen that's why wow. am i audible yes. yes yes very much yeah what is that aston oh yeah aston spirit hmm. yeah so what so i was I saying think, is because yes. uh, sorry i was saying that because it i come from a very cinematic music kind of background so i kind of view it as a storytelling perspective and mm. that is why i think we had the uh, uh, whole song in a continuous way we uh, made some parts some splits out of it repetitions were made of the lines that had to be kept as a chorus line or something and that's how the structure was first decided and then because it's kind of a storytelling and of course it had a very beautiful graph in the composition itself like uh, i never imagined bhairavi like what i like about it was the way each note evolves each note from the root note how it was evolving in the composition that was really fascinating for me and that's what i followed in composition me as well i think she disconnected yeah we'll be back yeah but good to connect to you apurva here yes uh, i am also very happy that i came to know so many people <laughs> and like so many like how how all this is done mixing and all i wasn't really aware of it i know apurva take on it it's so different everyone's take on it and and the like the final song then like it is so awesome i know for apurva it's a completely different world <laughs> yeah she, she's an academic and uh, a classical musician herself yeah. a very good singer and she composes her own bandishes 
In yeah. fact, that's where I I remember uh, listening to one of Apurva's bandishes in the class. Here, I would like to mention that we both learned from Anuradha Kuberji, our guru. Mm. It's the yeah. same. And uh, in once in I th- I think at Anuta's house, I heard one of her bandishes, and that's where it struck me that you know probably I can ask her to be on board. And uh, I asked Apurva to write the lyrics. and uh, amma's mix in this song was of a completely different level i mean all the other mixes are also wonderful but this one was like it took the song to a completely different level uh what what was it that you uh followed i can, do you remember or i don't remember but i'll remember uh, if sourab can explain me his making process because this was a tough song to crack yeah mm-hmm. very tough song uh well i think i remember nihira telling me that amai said that you know you had to revisit the mix like we all were you know doing lot of uh, movie things in our studios you were mixing and i was also so lockdown was an opportunity to reinvent ourselves like uh be in that independent music how to approach that so similarly for mixing i think you also approach with a, a complete different mindset going from silence to something new so similarly while producing it i was on the same impression like let's start from the zeroth instrument let's start from the root note first let's establish what is our root and then evolve it then i was because it was a lockdown i had very few instruments around me of which one was classical mm-hmm. guitar and then i just started exploring and like i mentioned earlier each note it grows so beautifully in the composition the graph of it so it was just i had to follow that and to stay so minimal that, that graph was actually very difficult because it didn't have a strict format as such it had to be one improvised entire take right and it was sounding plastic to me for some reason so i just decided to give up on it mm. for some days and one fine day i decided no i have to crack this today and then i sort of did one you know entire take from start to beginning on my ipad and that's what i sent saurab for production and that's what he produced the song on and finally of course i recorded the vocals in the studio i remember amay also uh, usually he is very quick with his mixes and this took some while so i asked him uh, when can i hear the first draft and he to what he told me on the uh, call was very interesting he was like i was following too many rules i don't want to follow rules over here because you both haven't followed any rules you all have not followed rules over here i also don't want to and this is what i specifically remember him saying so he didn't follow any rules i rem- uh, it it grows hmm. you know something as the, the vocal treatment especially yeah and uh, it it sounds lovely and um, i would like to thank all of you once again saurabh amay apurva and uh, do you have any questions or any doubts that you want to ask me i only keep asking you <laughs> questions all the time nothing nothing yeah. no, no, nothing <laughs> i i just i just wanted to say that we have all like like you said you did not follow the rules and i really think we put our emotions like we worked emotionally on this song because yeah. bhairavi made us feel it like yeah. from the moment you send me that voice note now that also like it if had an effect on me and that's why i wrote the lyrics it was not something like okay okay i just have to write about radha and krishna no i i heard it i listened to it and i felt sad a bit and what do you what do you do when you feel sad you search for <coughs> happiness so that that i incorporated like radha is searching for krishna for source of happiness nice very nice yeah. and i think the song itself has such a pleasing feel like i still whenever i play that song i played in a loop still even now when it is released and 
uh, it's out there and still when i was playing back then when you first recorded and when we first met the scratch track it happens to me that it doesn't get done in one one listening i listen to it again and again i always feel that there is something the song wrong. also was not done in one na like I, I, is this a song that you also had tried earlier with other uh, producers no 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 this was no? the song uh, yeah, i approached the, the one that started and, yeah 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 and Sorry. bang on he absolutely cracked it in the first go Yeah. So, this is how the album was started. The idea. Mm. This is how Trishna started. Uh, my so, question is, is how... what uh, uh, particularly about this song? Um, why did you take three whole minutes to start the song? As in uh, the intro. Yeah, the intro. That's what <laughs> it was about. Not following the rules. <laughs> and i wanted to you know sort of expand and open each card each note as a card mm. like you do in a game of cards that that's the reason uh, and i wanted to do that simple <laughs> it is like, like a bada khayal bada <laughs> yeah, exactly like a bada khayal you focus on one note in one hour then but were This you not just... afraid that people will will get bored no uh i think with trishna i simply decided to do what i really believed in rather than because i believe independent music does not just mean you know being independent of a record label it also means or it rather means being independent of market trends or success formula hmm you do what you believe in right because any which way when we do commercial work we are forced to sort of adhere to the market trends yeah then if we do the same when we make independent music how different is that mm. it has to be independent really independent in its true, true. sense true. so correct yeah we are all proud of you nira yeah yeah thank you <laughs> thanks Hello. thank you so much and uh, once again i would like to thank all of you for sparing your time for the session today amay apurva saurab and uh, everybody uh, shashi ji joined dipesh sir joined uh, carlos ernan from there you know christmas celebrations also mm-hmm. we missed tejas we missed mayuk da- but mayuk dada sent his uh, is, uh, clip uh, and uh, i thank him once again for saying all those nice things about me and <laughs> i am very very happy uh, to have him on board and all of you and i'm really looking forward to doing more work in different combinations with all of you and uh, i would like to thank uh, live demi and satyajit once again for giving such a lovely platform to trishna to me and my entire team because uh, could you please is there a question yeah yeah could you please walk us through the steps so we already did we already did yeah. yes so for giving pl- such a lovely platform to our album because it's not always that you get to speak about the technicalities or the pros- the ideation behind each song like it might have been a coincidence but each song is based on a stam rag yeah it's not that it was done consciously of course uh i just used the notes of the rag as a tool to express what the song was trying to say but it has actually turned out to be like hansadwani yaman second one is sampurna malkaun and joke kaun's third one is rageshri and the last one is bhairavi so um and the four trishnas so once again i would like to thank all of you to satyajit and live demi also and uh, i'm hoping we can make another ep like this with a different theme with a different uh, thought and uh, continue doing independent work that we believe in sure 
Sure. And once again, I thank all the people who joined also. Richa, there was Milin Date, there was... I, I cannot scroll down, but there were many other people, mm. Parvez, and so once again, thanks to all of you and um, do listen to the album. It's out on all the uh, leading digital platforms. At the same time, all the videos are out on my YouTube channel. And it was a conscious decision actually that to not make videos of these songs and they are all audio experiences so it might it might need a little patience on your part but do go listen to uh, the songs and uh, keep supporting and encouraging us thank you thank you okay see you on this note and wish you all a merry christmas yes and a merry happy christmas. new year happy new year Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I have a request that the next project we do, I think we should all meet and do and I, I would like to <laughs> have the studio experience and all. Yeah. Oh yeah, it that would be any which way in my next trip in India. I'm yeah. planning to have a small Krishna get together. We can all have a lunch or a dinner, whoever can make it. It would be lovely for everybody to actually meet <laughs> uh, each other because none of you have met each other, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much, Neera. Thank you. My pleasure. Let's keep trying, rediscovering ourselves all the time. Bettering <laughs> ourselves. Yeah. Hmm? Bettering ourselves. Bettering. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Then on this note, uh, I I would like to end the session. Okay. And. Uh, सुन सुन मेरे बतिया मुरे शुकी ओरे कारी